Hello guys, I just got back from Vermont. Since we're back, we need to get back into the swing of life, into the swing of the everyday cycle. Also, do you guys like my earrings? My mom made them. We're not gonna talk about my shower curtain. My mom, she got it as a joke and we just never got a new shower curtain, okay? It, it's functional. I think what I'm gonna do first is like get this toiletry bag in, in check. Flossing feels like a good back scratch to me. Hello. I would turn the light on, but one, it doesn't really feel necessary, and two, when I turn the light on, a fan goes Woo! Hold on, I'll just, I'll just show you. Why can't the fan and the light be separate? I don't know. But in Vermont, okay, this is a big TMI, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway, okay? The whole time I was in Vermont, I was there, how many days, three days? About three days, about yeah, three. The entire time, I did not poop. When I got back to Jersey, I was like, this whole time, I did not take a shit. I, I watched a video about this one time. I didn't look it up, but it was like, when you travel, it's common for your bowels to be backed up, but it's not backed up. It's just like your body's like hesitant. I don't know, okay. D I'm done talking about it. Don't quote me on anything that I just said. I didn't even say it. You know, it's kind of weird being here because before I left for Vermont, my sister moved out the day before. I have a bathroom to myself and it's kind of nice. But once she really moves all of her stuff in, then I'll start renovating the bathroom to my liking, you know? We have the fish tank in here. This is my sister's fish tank. So I can't wait for her to move this out. It's really nice and pretty. She did a really good job decorating his home. But get this out of my bathroom, pretty please. Her moving out makes me want to get all new everything, like new shampoo, new conditioner, new soaps. Maybe we should put lights in the shower. Maybe I'll have a video showing you guys like a bathroom renovation. That would actually be really fun. We'll come back to that. I kind of just want to straighten up. It's really making me feel like, ew, gross. I like the stick floss. I don't like the stringy floss. It's like not nice. But this Listerine, I don't ever use this Listerine. Little charcoal mask right here. Sage and wild mint. It smells so fucking good. This shit just makes you want to wash your hands for fun. You know, I also want to get brand new cleaning supplies because I'm looking in here like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on in there? Oh, here they are. I'm also gonna need this too. I'm gonna take this out right now. It's my nail polish remover. After this Vermont trip, I wanna throw out this toothbrush. What are you doing? It's Chef Ren in the cut. I'm chefing it up in the kitchen. And today we're making lunch. And we're also making dinner. Let me tell you about the dinner first. We have a roast in the crock pot right now for five and a half hours. But before dinner, we have to have lunch. So we're chefing it up. I've been really anxious about food. Food is just makes me so anxious and deciding and uh, I could make a whole video about my issue. I've been trying to be more lenient with like the ingredients that stuff has in it because after doing my research and getting grossed out about things, even the smallest thing that isn't good for you, it like really fucks with my head and it makes me feel really anxious. For example, I'm using this sauce right here for my lunch and it has natural flavoring in it. Oh, and canola oil, okay. And it makes my heart drop. It uh, genuinely makes my heart drop. But really, it's okay, Bren. It's okay for now, and you're not gonna die. We're gonna eat exactly what we wanna eat when we have the money for it, right? And that should inspire me to work. But let me tell, let, let me stray away from the seriousness right now, and let's get serious with the lunch. We have chicken right here, and in the microwave, 
We have some already made pasta, reheated noodles, garlic and herb sauce, and Parmesan cheese. And I'm thinking like, should I add some broccoli in this? I feel like that would fucking bang. I think I want to start like a cooking playlist on YouTube. Cooking with Crentily. I love chocolate covered strawberries. Actually, I take that back. This is definitely a raspberry. Chocolate covered strawberries, you know, they're okay. They're not really my favorite, but I love chocolate covered raspberries. And Max went to Whole Foods before he went to Vermont. He bought this raspberry dark chocolate and it was the best chocolate I've ever had in my life. It had the best ingredients. It literally tasted like a chocolate covered raspberry. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is the key. Not bad for year old chicken, huh? Not bad. This looks really good. Should we do a little taste test? Really fucking good. And we're gonna throw them in. Oh yeah, it's about to get serious. Mix it around a little bit. Um, we're kind of just gonna pour it in. The sauce is a bit light. Maybe we could add a little bit more, like so. So now what's gonna happen is, oh. Broccoli. Sprinkle a little bit on for right now just to add to the mix. One of my favorite things to eat when I was growing up is broccoli and cheese. Broccoli with melted cheese on top of it is the best thing ever. It's looking really good. <laughs> it's hot. Strawberry oat milk. Maybe I should put ice in it, guys. What do you think? I don't need a lot. Do you? What? This shit is trash. It's trash? Second ingredient is rapeseed oil. Really? Or maybe third ingredient? It's okay. You see what I mean, guys? You see what I mean? Nah, I can't I was win. I was literally... I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast like a little earlier, and they're talking about Oatly, how it has the same glycemic index a glass syrup index as coca-cola or something like that this is like same blood sugar release uh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's better off just drinking like some organic non-gmo whole milk okay it's looking really good guys and it's like you can't With win any anyway. oil as the second ingredient in a liquid drink you know how disgusting that is exactly and now i don't even want to drink this yeah, let's let's enjoy it together it's fine we're gonna enjoy it anyway you see you see with Ren. <sighs> so this morning I go to go turn on my children's lights, right? For the seventh million time, the bulb, it breaks. It's either the bulb or it's the lamp itself. All I know is that I can't fucking win. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. This morning, I'm on my computer and I'm researching what is the absolute best option that I can get so I can have this last and it's good quality. And I find it really hard to believe that everything is like PetSmart branded. The Exoterra and the Thrive and the Zoomed. I don't want that shit. It's been shit. It's fucking shit. But then you have the Arcadia. Right? The Arcadia seems like it's a good, sturdy brand, a better brand. And I have the Arcadia for his UVB light and, you know, works like a gem. Arcadia doesn't seem to have what I need. I'm just a bit conflicted. What am I not seeing? I, I was researching for like 30 minutes and I'm like, I, I can't find anything. <sighs> I guess we're taking a trip to PetSmart and we're gonna get another bulb. I literally just got this. Well, she's going in the trash. I'm tucking in my shirt. Cause we about to get into business. Oh yeah. Crinsley's about to water some plants. Oh my God, I'm making a fucking mess. How does my mom do this? Why am I making such a mess? Hold on. I'm gonna do this one better. 
Oh my god. I'm making such a mess. Uh, it's not even funny. I'm not even laughing. I'm filling it up. Why is it going everywhere? Oh my God. We're also going out front. We're going outside. I feel safe outside because then I can make a watery mess. It's early as hell. I walked out here and I was like, damn, did I wake up late or something? I did not wake up late. It is just hot as fuck out this bitch right now. I completely forgot about this bag and I saw it in the corner of my eye. And this is when I did like my fucking vending events and I have so much stuff that I don't want. I'm just gonna have a fucking yarn yard sale. Good morning. So last night I was editing my YouTube channel and I made a new banner for my YouTube channel. Isn't that awesome? I think it's so cute. So I think I'm about to make a deal with myself. If I'm not gonna go to PetSmart today, I need to find a way to make money today. I think that's a really good deal. I don't know if you guys watched my one video where I was telling you guys that I was gonna drop things on my website soon. I think I'm gonna do that and promote on social media, which reminds me. I haven't been thinking about social media at all because it is not on my phone. Like I haven't been on my phone at all because um, when I went to Vermont, I deleted all of my social media, like literally everything. And even the things I don't use like Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram, Twitter, whatever you call it. it it's really draining, you know, like you don't think about it and it feels normal and it feels like it's not really doing that much to you, but it's like, the amount of times I pick up my phone and mindlessly click on these apps is like, it's disturbing. It is genuinely disturbing. Maybe I'll do like a, a check in on my Instagram or I could literally just go on my computer and log in from Safari and do it like that. Okay, we got it down packed. So far we have zero orders. I don't expect anybody to order anything though. I'm on my second Stropafel. I'm probably gonna regret it later, but it's so good. I'm such a slut for some authentic Stropafels. But right now I'm watching My Suicide on Netflix and that shit is a fucking masterpiece. I'm like halfway through and it's so fucking good. I swear to God, this is like my third load of laundry and I'm like, how much stuff am I washing? I'm doing a face mask. Obviously, as you guys can see, my face feels so fucking tight, but it feels so good. Honestly, guys, I've had a bit of a slow day today. I haven't vlogged all day. Yeah, it's the end of the day. It's like 6 or 7 p.m. right now. Why do I feel like I didn't tell you guys about the orders that I got yesterday? Did I not make a video about that? Well, okay, if I didn't tell you guys, I got two orders yesterday, a, a hat and a bag, and I made enough money to go to... I made like 30 bucks, which is really good. I sold one of these bags, and I think I'm gonna give them in the, the same one in pink because why not? And I also sold a hat, like this, this very colorful hat. I'm thinking like, I'm gonna leave this mask on for a couple of hours and I'm just gonna watch a movie. I really feel like I should invest in more face mask because this is so fucking fun. Shake my hand, shake my hand. Oh wait, did I use the wrong hand? Maybe I'll use this hand. But whichever hand you want to shake, just shake it. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, or not. I love you anyways. Peace.